Hello and welcome back to my show. I hope you're all well. Let's get to the news. Now, Decrypt.com said that NatWest, a major retail and commercial bank in the UK, bars businesses that accept crypto. NatWest said, we have no appetite for dealing with customers, whether taking them on as new clients or having an ongoing relationship with people whose main business is backed by an exchange for cryptocurrencies or otherwise transacting in cryptocurrencies as their main activity, said NatWest head of risk more and freeze reported by Guardian. I'm guessing Bitcoin was affected by that. It, it went down today to 54,000. Apparently, Ethereum is surging. It's almost at 2,600. The 10-year treasury is down to 1.55%. That sounds pretty good, but we know why that is. It's because the feds are buying or purchasing 80 billion in 10-year and 30-year treasuries a month, not to mention 40 billion in mortgage-backed securities. Uh, the U.S. dollar, we said, is getting a comeback. It could be king. Cash could no longer be trash. Now, the U.S. dollar didn't change much today. The U.S. dollar spot was at 91. Or U.S. dollar index was at 91. The gold spot went down by 2 point, but it went down by 0.2% to 1789. Crude oil, WT, crude oil WTI went down 0.6% to $65 a barrel. And let's go to homes, existing home sales in March went down almost 2%, where in February they declined by 6.6%. And uh, Zero Hedge headline, U.S. existing home sales tumble for the second straight month as prices soar at record pace. And they attribute those the existing home sale decline to, uh, quote, technical and fundamental factors. Them being, some of them, that uh, people who uh, signed contracts in February, some of them found out that in March, their existing homes were, the sales that they made for existing homes were affected by weather conditions. While other buyers had lack of affordability for the homes as prices soared and mortgage rates surged. Not to mention the lack of supply in homes, right? Also in the news, Bloomberg reported Biden's capital tax gains almost are doubling for wealthy individuals making one million and up. They could these capital gains, these capital gains taxes for federal and state combined could go up to. 57% in some states. In New York, the capital gains tax for people making $1 million and up is at a whopping 52.2%. This is for investors including, included. Where in California, the capital gains tax, get this, it's almost 57%. That's right. This And for investors or anyone wanting, wanting to pull out at this point, they're too late in the game, too late at the party. If they pull out now and try to sell, they will still be responsible for those major capital gains taxes, unfortunately. Let's go to jobless claims. Last week, they were at 586,000. So which states, I was just curious, it, it just came to mind. So what states are do uh, have higher jobless claims and the following states have the highest jobless claims filed and this is thanks to the NRA the, the National Realtors Association who got their facts and numbers from the Bureau of Economic the US Bureau of Labor Statistics so the states with the highest jobless claims are the following New Mexico South Carolina, Delaware, Iowa, California, Tennessee, New York, Maine, Utah, and the District of Columbia. So, which states 
have the lowest jobless claims would be the next question, right? They would be Indiana, Florida, Maryland, Connecticut, uh, Arkansas, New Hampshire, Kansas, and Alabama. So we want to close with this. Uh, like we said, the Floyd's death is a tragedy and so is one for one. Okay. So I uh, also read that there was a nice memorial for George Floyd. It's called the George Floyd Square. And, but there's a flyer and I want to read to you. There's conditions for people wanting to visit. Anyone can go, but you must abide by these certain rules. Summit News reported. A sacred, they say, is a sacred place for community, public grief, and protest. I hope that's peaceful. You enter with reverence, humility, and openness as an invited guest. You honor the space as a place to connect and grieve as caring humans. For white people in particular, this is all on the flyer, by the way. These are not my words. They they ask that they decenter yourself. Decenter, so it means be quiet. Decenter yourself and come to listen, learn, mourn, and witness. Remember, you are here to support, not here not to be supported. Also, going down the list, be mindful of whether your volume, pace, and movements are supporting or undermining your efforts to decenter yourself. Seek to contribute to the energy of the space rather than drain it. Bring your own processing to other white folks so that you will not harm BIPOC. That is black individuals of, or black individuals, people of color. Also last thing, consider if you want or need to take photos and post them. Do not take photos of other people without their consent. So we want you to also know that in case you visit the George Floyd Square. That's all the news I have for you guys. Thank you for watching, supporting, be safe, uh, be cognizant of your surroundings. Uh, and thanks for your support, watching, subscribing, liking. If I know to repeat some of that stuff and we'll see you in my next video with some new content. Peace out. Bye.